What's going on guys? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Logan Blomquist rocking the short shorts. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at this throw. And yeah, uh, Logan, you sent me a couple different videos. Uh, I definitely like this one the best. Better direction in general. Um, pretty decent connection. Hips are underneath you pretty good. So, yeah. All right, so let's break it down, get right into it. So, in the winds, pretty good posture, pretty flat orbit. I like that, not too steep, nothing too crazy. You're turning back to the right super good. You can see how open you are to this right side. I really like that. Um, hands up and out away from the body, really good. Stable on that right leg. You kind of sink down into the entry and sit back. You can see your weight's going back towards what would be this right sector line. Sinking back, getting that little bit of that pendulum going. Um, your head and left side go a little bit early in the entry. As you can see, it kind of leads just a bit. So I'd say try to calm that down just a bit. Um, try to think about letting the hammer take you in through the entry. Yeah, you're going to have to push a little bit with the hands. Uh, throw the ball forwards a little bit, but really just try to be patient and let the hammer um, go first. As you can see, like I said, the head and that left shoulder go ahead, kind of lead the hammer a bit. Not a huge deal. You're not doing it terribly, so like it's not. It's definitely not messing you up too much, especially as you look later in the throw. I think you do a pretty good job of um, letting it go, but you still see that head is kind of like the driver of the throw it kind of uh, sets everything up which for some people that's what it takes but I think for you to really find true connection with the hammer and to get that effortless kind of throw that effortless kind of feel um, you got to let this hammer go ahead of you just a bit more you don't want to let it actually get ahead of you but you want to just turn with the hammer a little bit more instead of turning ahead of it it's only like maybe five percent ahead of it but as you can see heads at zero left shoulder I mean your left side's getting set up pretty well but this ball is just a little bit behind. So you need to just be a little bit more patient, let the hammer get just a little bit more head. Ideally at this point, you want your head looking at zero. You want your hands at zero like they are, but then you'd also want the ball a little bit closer to zero. Um, left side set up pretty well. You start quite off to the right, which is fine. You know, it's individual style. This right leg turns with the ball pretty well could be a little bit more with it and you rise up kind of just a little bit on this left leg not a huge deal once again but yeah you see that head going a little bit early and I think that prevents you from getting out over that left a little bit more um, but overall not too bad side of the foot pretty good toe turn nice job chasing that right hip around to the ball I like this position here pretty squared up towards 180. You're stepping towards 180. You're stepping in the direction of the sector. That's really good. A uh, little tilt in the shoulders, but not bad. I like your lower body position. Hips are underneath you, as you said. Kind of work up into the ball a little bit more. But then you see how there's this little drop right here. Not a big thing, but like I said, that's just a result of you come up just a little bit here and then down just a little bit there. Not a huge deal. I think that kind of, I kind of do the same thing a little bit, but I think if you could just smooth it out a little bit more, a little bit less rise in the entry and then a little bit less drop. You need some drop to feel a little bit of the pendulum. Um, but as you can see, kind of everything kind of comes down and your hands work down instead of just letting the ball take its natural path. You kind of force it down a little bit and then it comes back up. And when it comes back up, that head, like I said, is going to kind of pull that left side. It's going to pull. It's going to feel strong. But if you could just kind of smooth that out a little bit more through the entry, I feel just a little bit more effortless. Um, yeah, overall pretty good positions here. Your uh, your shoulders could be a little bit more level. Um, you look just a little tense in the shoulders, but pretty good. And yeah, you see, so like at zero, this is kind of more of what I want. Hips at zero, shoulders at zero, but then the head is the thing that's only peaking. So maybe try, I don't know, 
personally myself, I'm not a huge fan of looking at the hammer, but um, finding a focal point at the back of the circle or maybe yeah, looking at like the back half of the ball could help with this patience a little bit and then it'll help let the ball get more free. So if the hammer doesn't um, get free over this left side, which it doesn't because your head and your left shoulder are kind of ahead of it, um, it doesn't really pick up an acceleration as much as it needs to. So let's watch in full speed one more time and just check the rhythm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. There's some acceleration, but it doesn't quite have that really, um, that pickup after the first catch um, that it needs to really have that elite style of rhythm where it goes like one, two, three, four. Uh, Kidway would call it a three and three rhythm. Um, and I'm kind of, I, I subscribe to that, I'd say. Um, so you got to let, just be a little bit more patient here in the entry. And then on the catch, you also need to be a little bit more patient with that head. Um, the rhythm really picks up after this first turn if you let the ball pass. And like I said, you're really turning with it. Your lower body's pretty with it. Um, you're a little heavy on this right side. Not a bad thing. That's part of how you accelerate in single support. But I think you could work this right leg, especially on this catch. Use this right leg to stabilize this left side a little bit more. Um, as you can see, you want to be a little bit more back. You want this left shoulder kind of a little bit more back behind this left hip. And like I said, kind of set up that left side a little bit more. You're just a little bit away. So shoulder, hip, knee is just a little bit away from this left side. Um, but not terrible. Not terrible. It's pretty close. You just need a little bit more of this left side. As the ball comes through zero, after it goes through zero, yeah, you want this left side to go back so this right hip can come through, which you do a pretty good job of. And you can see the ball's kind of taking you around that left side pretty good. Maybe keep that left foot a little bit more dorsi flexed. And then you can see this right foot kind of peel off a little bit. That's a symptom of this head and this left shoulder going a little bit early. If that right foot kind of peels off like that. Um, level shoulders hips underneath you. You can see, once again, a little heavy on the right, but that's not terrible. Um, because that left side goes a little bit early, you can see this right foot kind of comes around and over rotates just a bit. Um, you kind of lose that direction a little bit that you had in the first turn where you need to step a little bit more forwards and feel the ball pull you a little bit more towards the sector in this part of the throw. Um, same thing, left shoulder more over the right leg rather than kind of back over this left side a little bit. But you do you look strong, you do a good job of working out of it, but yeah, you can see this left shoulder down, that head pulling, and then, um, yeah, you just see that tension through the head and the left side. So, and then a little bit better with the right leg there. But yeah, you can really see this left side's doing a lot of work as the throw picks up. You wanna feel that, you, want, you, want, you kinda want the upper body to feel like long and stretchy and you really want to feel the hips being the driver of the throw, in my opinion. Um, a little bit better direction here, stepping more towards the ball. You can see the amplitude of the orbit grow in the direction of 180, which is good. Um, but yeah, still a little bit heavy on the right. Coming through zero. Heel comes down just before the ball gets to zero, which is good. Um, but yeah, still head, left shoulder is kind of driving everything. When you want to, you want it, in my opinion, you want it to be the right leg, the right hip, primarily that kind of drives the ball and stabilizes this right or this left side. Sorry, um, and then uh, as you come through, right hip gets up and into it pretty good. You can see a little bit of rotation here, a little bit more in the direction. This is getting closer to where you want to be with that posture that kind of straight back over this left side and then you come through pretty good on the finish I'd say these kind of finishes are my favorite when you you're not quite out forward into the finish but it's pretty damn close um, I think some of my best throws and some of most people's best throws are when they this left foot just barely pulls off and I mean you're pretty balanced that means I think you're getting all the way through it but then you kind of come back into the sector a little bit which means you're missing just a little bit of energy and direction forwards. Um, so, yeah, overall, not too shabby, pretty close. Um, I think it just comes down to keeping that head stable, still. I think that's the term, still. Stillness is the key. Um, 
let the hammer move around you. Let the hammer get free. So think about as you come through on the entry, just letting the hammer get ahead just a little bit more, one to two percent more. Feel the ball get free. Feel the tension of the hammer pull you into balance rather than you pulling the hammer into balance. And then after this first turn, just be even more patient. So you need to be super patient in the entry, but then even more patient after this first turn to really let the ball go around the left and get free. And if you do it right, it kind of like uh, should be kind of scary in a way because it's you really have to surrender to the hammer. Your lower body movement's pretty good, but yeah, you get a little pulley in certain parts of the throw. That's not too far off. So yeah, man, um, just gotta let the hammer get ahead more. Let the hammer get more free. Use that right leg, right hip to help stabilize that left side and double support at least early on in double support, and then really just work that right hip up into the throw in single support, which you do a pretty good job of. There you go. So you're not far off. Um, I think this turn right here, this second turn, when you land just a little bit over-rotated, that's what kind of accentuates that left side pulling, because when you catch over-rotated, that left side has to compensate to keep tension with the hammer. And then that's kind of what pulls you, and you see your left foot's kind of a little, um, kind of comes off. It doesn't come off the ground, but you can see you don't quite have enough weight on the left side in certain points of the throw, but you do a good job of working out of it because you look strong enough. So, yeah, all right. Pretty close, pretty close. Small little tweaks that can really take your technique and your throws to the next level. So let me know if you have any questions. Always happy to help. Um, if anybody else out there would like a technical analysis or a throws program or a lifting program or anything like that i'm getting back into online coaching more seriously now um so hit me up happy to help my website is currently down so slide in the dms on instagram email me at sdonley757 at gmail.com and we'll get you set up with whatever you need so thanks for watching sean don peace and out until next time